today, Friday, gotta get down on Friday, and we're gonna play some more Bloodborne. Uh, as you can see, I got new armor. It's the Firekeeper armor from the Chalice Dungeons. It looks, it looks pretty cool. That's why I went with that. Anyway, so last time... Uh, I was getting knocked off the sides of the building by Martyr Ligarius. Uh, I will get my revenge, but first, there are some things I need to do in Yarnum first. And... Let's start here. Odon Rive. So that... Yes, that's what I needed. Visceral attacks will restore my bullets. So that, I believe, was the old lady um, from Central Yarnum. This is the suspicious man from the uh, Forbidden Woods. And he drops the beast rune. So if I uh, take another beast pellet with that equipped, it will uh, do better. And I forget who you are. I guess I'll find out when I pick up your item. Oh, that was the old lady. So that must have been the nun out in the... Um, it must have been the nun in the jail. Anyway, we got another thing to do, so I'm going to kind of shut up for a sec. Alright, okay, I'll shut up as soon as I climb to the top of these stairs. And... and talk to you. You threatened me earlier, but now we can talk. Have you found it? It's progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. I'm... Oh, God, it feels awful. But... It proves that I'm chosen. Don't you see? How they rise. Rise inside my head. It's rather... Rapturous, that. All right, we're gonna murder this pregnant lady. And we're gonna pick up the umbilical cord, and... We're gonna eat it. All right, that's all I have to do here. Because I need, I need that in order to get the true ending. Well, I need one more, because I got the one, I got the other umbilical cord in the abandoned workshop. And I got the one from, from the fake Isefka. Reminder that the real Isefka is chilling out right here. Uh, one more from Ariana, and then there's a fourth one. Oh, um, from the, one of the bosses. That's right, so there's, you need three to get the true ending, and there's four altogether. I might as well get all four. I can increase my insight. Anyway, let's head back to Central Yarnum, because there are a couple of things I forgot to do. Anyway, if you remember the guy who gave us the flamethrower, he was awful sick. Let's see how he's doing now. Oh, he just sent me flying. I'll just fall on top of him. Oh. 
And the claw mark. Actually, what does that do? Oh, okay, strengthens visceral attacks. Uh, that may be useful, but it would be better if I were using this uh, skill build, and I'm not. Anyway, the sick guy, he turned into a beast, broke through the window, and he's there. He's dead now. But we might as well tear through this building because there's still one more thing I need to do here that I completely forgot to do before. Let's see, it's not that way. It, oh, it would be up here through the building. Sorry, y'all, I just got lost. It happens. with botanicals. Still my favorite. Um, still one of my favorite tools. So, the thing I forgot was... This boss fight. And you can definitely tell I, uh, I'm a little overpowered for this one. Oop, and... Yeah, I'm very overpowered because he is doing almost no damage to me. And he's already dead. Anyway, what he did was he dropped the Sword Hunter badge. And that's actually something I need. Because that badge now allows me to buy items that are useful. The Hand Lantern. I need that, and it also lets me buy the Kirk Hammer, which is actually a really nice weapon, I'll pick that up, and the Repeating Pistol, so I get a different gun, which I'm not really going to use. Oh, and while I was messing around in some of the, uh, some of the randomized dungeons, I picked up some uncanny weapons. I'll explain that um, later. Actually, I guess I can explain it now, because I'm just going to level up real quick. Um, so, every weapon in the game, there's three different versions. There's like the standard, and then you go into the Chalice Dungeons, there's an Uncanny and a Lost version. They're all the same. Like, they all do the same attack damage, and they all upgrade the same way. The only difference is the type of blood gems that you can attach to them. So, uh, haha, <laughs> level 69, nice. Let's see, go with that, and... Yes, let's go to 40 arcane. That's what we need. We, I want to get to 50 by the end, but 40 is a good spot. Yeah, thanks for that. So, I mean, they're not... So the other weapons are not, like, super important, but they are useful if you're looking to, uh, you know, put in, like, a different kind of buff or something onto your weaponry. Alright, so... Oh, right. Martyr Ligarius. Let's go... get our revenge on that motherfucker. I don't know, I just explained like a billion things all at once here, but... Things should be a little easier now. Yeah, 
were more powerful, and I did... Actually, I lucked out, and in my dungeon raids, I found some material to upgrade my sword by one more, uh, one more level. So I should be doing a bit more damage. And yeah, I still gotta hit them three times. But it's okay, I can run past them. I want to get this guy. Because, hey, they can't knock me off this ladder, but he can. Alright, we're just going to go straight to the boss, because we've already, <clears throat> we've already cleared this level. Climb on up. Almost there. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold on to as many bullets as I can, so I'm not going to use any arcane tools. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I will use one. Alright, let's take this boy out. <clears throat> this will not be as quick as the Cleric Beast fight. Right, but at least he's not, like, nearly killing me. Oh, come on. Yeah. I will eventually get my timing down for that swing. So, I guess while I'm fighting this guy, I should talk about how lately I've been getting into, um, like, the cut content of Bloodborne, like, some of, like, the, and also, like, some of the pre-release alpha stuff, and, oh, shit. Okay, that actually didn't hurt that much. Gotta be a little careful, you know? Anyway, and so there were some files found that show this would have probably been a multi, like, a multi-phase fight. And that Martyr Le I can't seem to get up right now, hold on. And that Martyr Legarius was actually going to be the king of Cainhurst. And this would have actually been the final phase of his fight. He would have turned into this. <laughs> okay, can you, like, chill the fuck out? Thanks. trying to heal and you're being a dickhead. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the issue is when he starts, he moves from his arcane abilities to his physical ones and starts being a real dickhead because he gets all up in your grill like that. And, oh, I lost my lock-on. And, lost my lock-on again. <sighs> now, where are you at, pal? Ah. Oh, can I get in there? Nope. Let's just heal up. Oh, I, oh, I hit him, but it didn't quite work. 
All right, we gotta shoot that sword. Otherwise, I will be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> eh, not quite. All right, let's uh, get some more bullets. And yeah, he's almost dead. Just so long as I stay off any ledges and don't get knocked off again, we're all right. Ah, yeah. right, there's that. Shit. Right, this could be bad. All right, we're good. Oh, shit. Okay, got him. That should be it. Yep, we got him. Hey, it only took us a week, but he is now dead. Let's go ahead and light this lamp. And let us pick up this. Crown of Illusions. What does that do? Well, let's put it on and find out. That's what that crown does. And here we go, one of my favorite NPCs in the whole game. I claim no subject, but here lieth our throne. Kneel before us, or get thee gone. Well, first. Grab that. Turn that on. Oh, there's a nice look at my character here. Bleh. Visitor, moon-scented hunter. I am Annalise, queen of Castle Canehurst. sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered, and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? Well, well. An odd hunter thou art indeed. We've tired of these piteous nights. Share in our plight and take oath against the church. If thou wouldst this path walk, I prithee partake of my rotted blood. Very well. Drink deep of our blood. Feel the spreading corruption burn. <laughs> Return for the honor of Cainhurst. 
All right, now we are officially transgender. Anyway, so let's take a look at that unopened summons. Oh, it allows someone else to come here. But there's no address, so we can give it to anybody. And that's what I am about to do. So there is a side quest here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can level up one more time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna increase my maximum health. So if you've never played Bloodborne, the level up system is the same as it was in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. You buy a point, level up, and then the next point is more expensive. And... Let's see, I should probably... oh yeah. There, we are now a vile blood. Oh, and I'm gonna switch from... Uh, let's see. There we go. Alright, I will switch. So I'll have less maximum bullets at a time, but every time I hit a counterattack, my bullets will... Um, will uh, replenish. If that doesn't make any sense right now, don't worry about it. Um, all right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try another uh, side option here. It's a very very difficult fight that I was having some problems with last time. I'll see if I can do better. And if I can't, then forget it. We'll go to a different area. Uh, we're, as far as like the main plot goes, we're past the halfway point of the game, so I'm trying to knock out uh, as much side stuff as I can. Oh, Ariana is still here. Yeah, I've been there. I kill them. Pick up those blood vials so I can heal later. Alright, we're gonna go and fight this guy inside the church. The Crow Hunter. Well, the reason for that is because of our progress. We have... The, everybody in this town is cursed, and we've progressed to a point where the curse has kinda... messed up everyone. If I hadn't sent everyone to that clinic to be turned into blue aliens, they would also be in that chapel. And they would be completely off their rockers, insane. Hey Eileen, I'm gonna go fight that guy for ya. Cause before that they were they were kind of alright for the most part, but now they're just like they'd be like cackling and going on talking all kinds of shit. Let us heal all the way. Ow, oh, Jesus. Yeah, as you can see, he hits extremely hard. Oh. And he shot me. That I'll just hit him with my my uh, tentacles. <laughs> ah. All right, let's just heal up. Try 
trying to counter him here. But that's easier said than done because he... There, I got you. Mm. There. Do a little damage. Oh, and I got to... Make sure I throw that at him. Okay. <laughs> now we cannot heal. Temporarily can't heal anyway. And neither can I. So. Oh shit. And I am dead. Yeah, when I said this was like one of the hardest fights in the game, I was not joking. Nobody likes this guy. But he does drop a really, really good item. If you can beat him. I'll come back later when I'm a bit uh, stronger. But I, I still have to go up here to see if, um, see if Alfred is around. Because there's still another human around who hasn't completely lost his lost his mind yet. There. Out of my face. Run past you. So, if you couldn't figure it out. Uh, this game is heavily inspired by the works of Hewlett Packard, Lovecraft. Up oh, there he is. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Aha! Is that the sigil of Kanehurst? I've heard tell of Kanehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. I will depart immediately, but first, a token of my gratitude. Ah, I feel my master's hand at work. Praise the good blood, and let us cleanse these tarnished streets. Yeah, you can eat shit, Alfred. I don't like you. Yeah, so those little specters that you see, uh, those are other people who are playing this game right now. You can see like an outline of how they're doing at the moment. Alright, so I'm going up here not to fight that guy, but to go over here. Because I've, I have technically been here, but I have also not been here. I realize this makes no sense, but... Let's 
See, let me go back up here, grab that item on the... I need that. So there's a couple of hunters around here. They're not nearly as hard as that guy in the church, but, you know. But they could still hit me pretty hard. He's dead. Oh, and um, now that I am a member of Vile Bloods, I now pick up this bloody sperm every time I kill a human enemy. Whether they be an NPC like this or if I were to fight another player online, but that. In this entire run through, it's only happened once so far. Yeah, this guy just loves to shoot. And, yeah. That's what makes him so dangerous. So I'm just going to spam tentacles at him. And my flame sword. See if I can knock on the star. Yeah, everyone, everyone is gone. There's some stuff I don't need. Really, I just wanted to take out those two hunters. There's no particular reason. Oh, I mean, also, I need to go through the door that's over here. But as far as, like, items and things like that to use, I don't really need any. Like, I don't really even need to go after these guys here. Hey, how's it going, Amygdala? I'll just run past you, because I don't need to get grabbed by you a second time. Now, here we are. We're going to make some progress through the main game before I go back to the DLC. Just so I can have my weapon fully upgraded before, or at least close to fully upgraded, before I go back there. I forgot, it's just some cold blood. Mm, you're not dropping anything, are you? Now, there we go, I need seven more to upgrade my sword. So the highest you can upgrade your sword is uh, to level 10. I'm currently at level 8. Alright, and I got the helmet, and there's nothing else I can grab over here without dying anyway. And there are now amygdalas everywhere, these giant spider-like creatures. And get you, and get you. 
Now I can just get shot and then run straight down before those guys respawn. So this is the part of the game where it's like, oh, you have to run past most of the enemies. At least until you kill this woman with the bow. Oh, Bolt. That's actually very good. Um, I will need that for another weapon that I have equipped. Big guy came in. And so the little guy. Oh, what the? Yeah. Right, let's get through here. Error. What does that do? I forgot. I will. I will check as soon as I kill the bell ringing woman, because she'll prevent enemies in this area from respawning. Also, make them weaker. So that will uh, that will help out. So what does air do? Let's see. Oh, okay. I just get more experience from uh, landing a visceral attack. Uh, no, I don't want to go down there yet. I want to go up here first. So, if you're like me, and your first time playing, you'll get distracted by all of these enemies here, and that giant amygdala that, if you get too close, will start shooting eye lasers that you won't notice, that you can drop down and access a hidden area. But first, let's uh, get rid of this giant. Oh, and I fucked up and forgot to kill the bell ringing woman. Oh well. Get rid of you. There is another arcane item over here. I'll just try and grab it real quick. The tiny Tonitris. I will not be using that. I already have the real thing, so who cares? Hey, how's it going? Anyway, it's that key that I got. That is uh, that will grant me access to a hidden area that was locked off previously. Uh, I will uh, go there uh, actually pretty soon. Oh, this is probably a bad idea to run directly into everyone like this. Oh, okay. Need six more of those. Have to kind of keep track of that. So that amygdala will attack, so I have to be very careful about... Shit... Okay, we... 
We made it. And there's that. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can grab this guy here. Alright, there's another one. There's another one of you. That one will not attack. That that amygdala will just sit there and stare at me while I do my thing. That ought to do it. Just hit you real quick. And uh, I'm not even going to mess with you. I'll just pick this up. Just run in air. Now, I was also here last time. This was the jail that I was thrown into earlier. You can tell because the lamp. I can't uh, light the lamp here. Uh, it sounds like there's a police officer around the corner. Oh wait, no, that's uh, the jail. These are, we get the little bony guys here. you and let's activate a shortcut there that elevator that was uh, not working at the beginning will now work I just kill you and also you Might as well get those free soul, uh, blood echoes. Sorry, sorry, they're not souls anymore. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, shit, that did not. That stealth did not work. Alright, let's get out of here. I will draw them out into the open instead of uh, dealing with them in there. Yeah, that's what the tiny Tanitris does. But I got the real deal. Assuming I can use it. Oh. Oh, good gravy. That was a lot of damage. So was that. Ugh. that naked guy. And, oh no, I did not take him out. All I did was uh, make him angry. Got you. Great, that one's dead. Uh, 
Uh, that one's dead too. Okay, well, thanks for coming by. See you later. Claw mark, strength, that's my best roll. Okay, yeah, I got it. That's fine. Anything that you, you miss will end up on YouTube anyway. Oh, there's the other one. Alright, now we're here at one on one. Ah, that did not work very well. That worked, though. Okay, all three of them are finally dead. It's a little intense. Let's see here. So you can tell the little wolf men are a little bit different in this area. They're not the original wolf men, these are different ones. And, uh, oh, can I? Oh, okay, that's a. Go on the other side and do it. Anyway, so there was a boss in Hypogean Jail that I did not fight, and now I can fight it here. You will see why I elected to wait. Oh, let me summon you. Get a human shield. All right, Defector Anal has arrived. Let's go ahead and fill my health all the way up. Now, this is Dark Beast Pearl, who's a massive pain in the ass because he moves super fast. And, uh, oh, I think I, yeah, I got rid of his. But on the plus side is all I will do a little more damage than if I had fought him earlier in the game, so. I just gotta run up and get him here. And that, well, that totally missed, so never mind. It's very hard to hit, that's why I have this large weapon here. Okay, that worked. Alright, so... Defector Anal is gone. And we finally unlocked this shortcut to Old Yarnum that we... really do not need. But I will warp back to the Hunter's Dream. Uh, spend some of this money I got, and then go back. Hello? I will repair those. I need two more. 
And, oh yeah, the Spark Hunter badge, that just lets me buy some bolt paper, which I don't really need. And I will increase that, and I will increase that. And let me attach that gem to my Tunitris. So then I will do more bolt damage. Where did I see that? Physical, physical, physical. Let's get physical. Blunt, thrust, fire. Alright, not on this one. I think it might be here. Yeah, bolt attack goes up. Since the Tinnitus is a bolt elemental weapon, it's a good idea to have that. Uh, all right, let's head back to Yahagul Chapel. And we'll go fight like the real boss and all that, all that good stuff. I gotta run back through here. That's okay. Yeah, the bell ringing women will always respawn, so that's something to look out for. But I'm still going to run past them. I don't need to fight them at all. And those hunters are dead, so I don't have to deal with them anymore. And... We'll fight this guy here. See if there's anything worth grabbing down here. Oh well, okay, that was definitely worth grabbing. Old hunter over there. Well, not an old hunter, but a hunter. And oh, hey, I think that's the snatcher that brought me. All right, great. I have enough to level up one more weapon level. Which I should probably do now. Not that this boss is particularly difficult, it's actually one of the easier ones in the game, but... You know, it's just a good idea to do that. But I should, uh... Oh, I don't need to go here. But I should, like, unlock all the shortcuts and shit before I do that. Because there's still, like, doors and stuff around here to mess around with. Not there, but... Whatever. Let's, let's grind out some bullets there. Can never have too many bullets, especially on an arcane run. Okay, that's the way out. I want to go here first. Alright, easy enough. That's a trap. It's kind of blatant because you can just see the item there. Oh crap. I 
Okay, well, that didn't really do any damage, so... I don't know, normally getting grabbed is uh, a bad time, but... Great, Bloodstone Chunk. I can use those. Trying to bait an attack. And... Huh. Okay, never mind. I thought there were other items here. Alright, now we can make some progress. Not like we have to go very far. The Pale Blood Sky. Got that Blood Moon out. Hunter's Damp Blood Gem. What does that do? It's probably going to be toward the bottom. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, okay, never mind. That's uh, not very useful at all. Alright, this one I have to run through because the enemies will respawn in this area until I get rid of the bell ringing woman. So let's uh, make sure my health is full. Get rid of you because yeah, you're you're someone worth getting rid of. And uh, get rid of you too. Eventually, get rid of you. I don't really need that. Okay, now we can... We could explore a little bit more. Like inspecting this bathtub. Great. We're, we're summoning the tentacles of a god to attack. That's just a lot of fun. Alright, let's sneak up on this guy. Get a visceral attack so I can get some bullets. Now, oh, I only get one back. Oh well. It's better to get one than none. Oh yeah, and the people, these these stone statues of people, those are not statues, those are actual people turned to stone. Um, I forget, I think there's something I can get by dropping down here. So I'm going to do that real quick. No, it didn't. Actually, that was just a waste of my time. It just took me back over here. Sorry, everyone. It, it just, it pays to explore everywhere in this game.
And, well, that was really stupid of me. I just ran headfirst into some fire. And... That was still a little... Let's get this guy now. Because I really want to get a, as many bloodstone chunks as I can. That's... that's an important thing. Okay, that's just a bloodstone that I'm probably not going to use. Yeah, something happened in this village, and it really messed everybody up. Shit. Oh, uh, that, um... Uh, I need to hurry up and run the hell out of here. I'm not going to summon any help, because it's not necessary. That's right, you back on up. It's boss time! And like I said, this is like one of the easiest boss battles in the whole game. You know, I say that and I'm probably gonna... If I can run into something stupid and, and immediately get killed. But, yeah, we'll, we'll try and avoid that. Get a load of that body horror. Alright, so if you've ever played Demon Souls, uh, this is literally just the fight against the Tower Knight. So first we climb up these ramparts, get rid of these witches, so that they don't shoot at me while I'm trying to fight the one reborn. I mean, I don't have to, but, you know, it's just for convenience sake. You don't want to get pelted with a bunch of shit when you're fighting something. And that just leads back down. I wonder if I can get him a little bit closer so I can do a plunging attack. And I missed. Oh, let's uh, be a little bit more careful. Now, the One Reborn doesn't really have any kind of particular weak spot. Just kind of hit him wherever. And, uh, don't get hit by all the guts. Oh. Yeah, if, if you like Cronenberg movies, you will like, you will like this guy for sure. I do. I mean, like I say, he's super fucking easy. So long as you... Don't just stand there like an idiot and get hit by his projectiles like I'm doing. I 
and you know don't don't miss when you go to swing. I love my stamina recharge. So I get some shots in. Yeah, you can see I'm actually doing quite a bit of damage here. Alright, it's time. No, okay, it's not time to start moving. I thought that was an acid attack. So, there is one good move that the One Reborn has where it will just uh, puke up a bunch of acid and it will fucking hurt you really bad, but. We seem to be doing all right in terms of uh, just kind of keeping them stunned. Yeah, like I said, there's like no no particular challenge there. Very, very easy battle. Now this next area though, that is not an easy area. There's definitely, definitely a lot of dead bodies around here. So in the original, uh, like the original concepts for Bloodborne, uh, you would actually sit in those chairs to warp from place to place instead of using these lanterns. But I, I mean, I get why that was changed up because lanterns, hey, they're kind of like bonfires. And bonfires were definitely a Dark Souls thing. So we're back. We are back in the lecture hall, part two. Feel free to make all of your your uh, safe space college campus jokes. But while they, while you do that, I'm gonna uh, go back to the hunter's dream. Gonna level up. Gonna do some things. Also upgrade my. Uh, Upgrade my weaponry and stuff. That's always worth doing. Yes. So that is as high as I can get. I need a blood rock. And there are only two in this whole game, so... <laughs> Here, I'm gonna upgrade this to... I just want to show it off. It's a nice weapon, and I am going to want to use it in an upcoming area. Possibly. Uh, let's see what's that. That's fire. That is arcane, isn't it? Alright, let's see. Arcane scaling. So we go from B to A. Let's see here. Uh, strength scaling, but no, that's not going to work. I am an arcane based character, so. Now that will scale to my. to my arcane ability. Hmm. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I can't use on this weapon. Ah, that's to it. I'll mess with it later. Um, but I will show it off real quick because it looks cool. So the normal one-handed deal. It's another sword, just like the holy blade. Two-handed though. 
turns into a big old hammer. That's that's what I like about it. It's very fun that way. Alright, let's go ahead and level up. Let's go ahead and put that up to 100. Um, and... Yeah, that will not upgrade my weapons, but that will. And yeah, upgrade Arcane as well. Oh, and... Oh, let me repair my stuff too. I already did. Fire. I suppose I can add some... Oh, that would actually lower my... If I wanted to do it, that will... I guess I can do that. Add some rapid poison without reducing everything. And I'll add a slow poison too. Okay, that'll be like my fire slash poisons weapon. Okay, so we're gonna be going back to the the cathedral ward here. We're not fighting that other guy. We're gonna do something else. Remember, I got that key. We're gonna actually use it here in a bit. Let everybody know what's going on there. Okay, yeah, you're still here. Oh, wait, wrong way. You don't say anything else, do you? Nope, we're gonna go up here. Me and my nice, uh, the share zone outfit. And so, you may remember me climbing up this tower and then leaving because uh, I couldn't open the door. Well, we're gonna open the door this time because I have the key. That's that was the key I got in um, Yahagul. I don't know where you came from, but you can get out of here. You can you can die and be dead. What level am I at? 76? Okay. I'm almost, like, at the right level for the DLC. Plus the Kirk hammer just kind of looks cool. You know, it has all that writing on it that you can't see. Now we can go here. The Upper Cathedral Ward. You just, you just hang out there. Hang out there, little guy. Now let's deal with these guys. Oh. 
and also also not get hit by them either. That's that's an important thing. Okay, he's dead. And hey, what are you doing? Oh yeah, I just got hit with some frenzy. Only only the best of the status effects. Now we'll light that lamp. Oh, and since I got it, where'd it go? There, make sure I have that hand lantern, because I am going to use that. Be needing to use that. And I can't... Yeah, there's an item over here. Yeah, they're just kind of worshipping things. I'll, yeah, I'll leave, leave them to their thing. These ones are going to attack. And if you are wondering what these things are, they are, in fact, children. They're uh, crossbreeds between humanity and the Great Ones. Like I said, this game is, is very Lovecraftian. L Lovecraft without the racism is a pretty good way to describe it. Let's not walk into the fire. Get rid of you. There. So I get a little bit of light. not as much as if I had a torch out, but there will be uh, a time where I will need to use a gun. So I will be needing access to a second hand. Like right... Pop Scare. Like right here. That door is locked. You can definitely hear a brain sucker on the other side. It's a very, very dark, very dark area. It's about to get a lot darker. So, also something I could do. Uh, well, I'm not doing it right, but you can kind of, kind of cheese it a little by uh, stabbing through the door, because they can't fit, but you can. I mean, they can still hit you if you're close enough, but. Yeah, where's the third one? Oh, third one's over here. And there's another one walking around. And I can deal with you one on one. That's fine. And 
and yeah, that fire element is very useful to have. Okay, there's the brain sucker over there. Find over here. Oh, okay, I can absolutely use that ritual of blood for later when I start getting into um, some of the uh, higher level, or I guess lower level chalice dungeons would be more appropriate. Cosmic Eye Watcher badge. I forget what that gives you. I'll have to find out when I go back to the Hunter's Dream. Because each of those badges allows you to... Um, oh, good. These are those chunks. Yeah, hello, Brain Sucker. I see you. That's a free knockdown. And I'll get one bullet back for that. Let's just climb up. And... Oh, that's right, there will be another brain sucker here. I don't like fighting these a whole lot. I know I'm making them look easy, but... But yeah, they grab you, and and these ones know how to use magic, as opposed to the other ones from before. And it is possible to get stun locked too, so gotta. Yeah, heal back up. Pearl slug. That's for another chalice dungeon. I think that's for like the e the the last ones. So there's that taken care of. Wait, I don't think I've unlocked everything. I have not. I need to... Well, I need to not walk in a big circle. <laughs> uh, let's go back up here. I have to go and unlock another area here. Oh, right, this side. Never mind. It was right in front of me. If it was a snake, it would have bitten me. Alright, let's run back. Because I'm not going to be able to sneak up on that one without that other one coming up to me, I don't think. Let's just back it on up. Yeah. That's what I need. I need the key out of here. Also, I might as well open that up. So I have uh, almost all the doors here unlocked. I still have that big one outside. But that'll be fine. I can just go down here and do that. Let's go ahead and open that up. I 
and you know not run to the wall either. So here it is, we're gonna fight one of the hardest bosses in the whole game. It's so, it's so difficult. It's so hard. There we go, the Celestial Emissary. I might as well take care of all these little guys before I go and handle the big one. Wow, that was brutal. Check here real quick. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Oh wow, what do you know? It looks like that's the end of the area. Oh wait, no. I could break this window. Here, I should let people know. You can do that. Uh here, I don't think I need a template. I can just do Maybe someone will will figure out my message. And we gotta murder that child. And here we go. A call beyond. One of the absolute best arcane tools in the game. And we have Oh, okay, it's only 40. I thought it was 50 before, but I mean, I'm still going to try and go up to 50 anyway, because I think that's the soft cap as far as uh, individual stats go. Also, uh, it's a terrible idea to uh, try and fight what I am about to fight in this current state, so let me leave and uh, come back. Because there's no, um, there's no other lantern until after I defeat the boss. So I'm going to upgrade the Kirk hammer a bit. Because the, uh, the moveset that it has is really good for attacking. Because this is a boss with a uh, with a specific weak point, and the Kirk Hammer will hit it uh, very well. But I might as well um, repair that. Yes. Um, yeah, it's it's fine. Plus eight will be fine. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. And I don't think you're selling. Oh, they are? How many chunks do I need? Eight, eight. Oh, uh, never mind. I forgot, it's 20 insight per, per bloodstone chunk. I've only got 60, and you can only hold 99, I found out. So I might as well just say fuck it and level up. Now shut your eyes. Okay, Arcane. I'm gonna go by uh, 316. 
Um, I will do that, and then I will upgrade my health a little bit too. Farewell, me. And oh, not here, but should I get chalice? No, lumen flower garden. So that's where I want to be. I always forget the um the name. I don't know why. Kill you. Then we'll deal with these uh, celestial beings over here. Now we can ride on down. Should be all right, yeah. Three fourteen. Oh wait, I didn't want to summon, but you'll just kind of get in the way if I summon you. All right, Damien, are you ready? So we're going to take on. We're gonna take on. The, this game's equivalent of Cthulhu. Abratus. And, uh, that's right, I cannot... Right, because this has a flame element. Just wanted to make sure. Just get a good look at you. Try not to go insane looking at her. So for this boss, we just want to hit her in the head, try and bait her attack so that I can get some headshots. That's why I have the Kirk hammer, so I can, um, shit, so I can hit her in the head. Or, I don't know, I guess hit in the, in the tail, and not get, not get hit by those tentacles on the way. Anyway, no, no, no joking around. This is probably like the hardest boss in the base game, not including, you know, not including the DLC or any of the Chalice dungeons. Cause she does not fuck around. It's actually possible to fight an even more difficult version of her. But kind of lost my lock on there. Oh, that attack. I'm surprised it didn't hit me, but I'm glad it didn't. There's a, there's a weird bug where her hit, she'll do a charge attack and the hitbox for it will just be pretty much like half the screen in size. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh yeah, I can't attack while you're grabbing, grabbing my boy. Ah, uh, well, sucks to be you. Ah! Yeah, like I said, that's a very difficult attack to dodge. Yeah, yeah keep hitting that head. And we can do a visceral. Here's where shit's gonna get real, real bad. This is where Abratus will start using her arcane abilities. Like this. 
And yeah, that hits really hard. And I will use my own form of a call beyond. Oh, but I might have out of bullets for it. That's okay. I'll get in there and Oh, this could be bad. I'm not careful. And I don't want to get hit by that blood, because that will frenzy me. Alright, here you're, you're killing me. Literally, you're killing me. And I messed up again. And... Ah, crap. So, yeah, I totally, I totally messed that up at the end there. Give that another go here. Right, how many bullets does a call beyond use? Okay, it's seven per per shot. Actually, yeah, here I don't really need to be in hammer form for these guys. Yeah, like I said, a Bratis doesn't really mess around. Yeah, I'm just gonna run straight in, not summon anybody. Because honestly, Damien didn't really help that much. Could have gone a lot better. Hey, that'll work. So that's what's so nice about a call beyond. See shit, so I'm gonna back up. Okay, that, well, there we go. The second time to charm. And now we can go into the last set of um, Chalice Dungeons, the Ease Chalice. So yeah, a call beyond is 
very, very, very powerful, especially when you have a f well, actually, it's not even really a good arcane set. It's just three over the limit, but here, let's actually upgrade that a little more. Alright, so we've defeated Abratis. I could go and deal with the Nightmare of Menzis. Or, I can say no to all of that. I go back to the DLC. So, last time I already unlocked this shortcut, so we don't really need to mess around with any of that. Here, let's see how powerful I've gotten. Okay, I've definitely gotten a lot more powerful than before. Yeah, okay. I have definitely increased in power by quite a bit since the last time I was here. Alright, let's just get out of here. Though, these guys are probably going to be a little bit trickier. Because they're just, they're just tricky in general. Because I also want to get rid of that hunter so I can get the Gatling gun. I don't even know if I can actually use it if there's a strength requirement. But, you know, it's worth doing. And then I can go and fight Ludwig. Who, like Abratus, is also extremely difficult. Though I don't think I'll be able to... Um, You know, I don't know if I'll be able to quite exploit a call beyond with that boss like I did there. Alright, well, I'll just heal up real quick. And he's just gonna shoot. He's just gonna keep shooting. That's what he does. Here, I should switch over to Algor of Abratus and miss horribly. Oh god, don't get shot. I need to heal. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. We're not alright. Alright, we're doing a little better. This guy can be pretty tough. Because, yeah, he really likes to dive around and... <sighs> just be a real dickhead about things. See what level am I at anyway? 79? Uh, yeah, maybe I'll just go and fight Ludwig. Because... Defeating Ludwig gets me one of the best arcane weapons in the game, and I want that! So maybe if I get that, then I could, uh... 
then I can go after all the hunters and all that. Come on over here. I don't know who hates dogs or from software, but they need to they need to quit. They need to they need to, they need to clean up their act. Good shot. Though his blunderbuss doesn't really do that much damage, so. those guys to take out and oh I did not get the whirly gig saw um, I don't know if I'll get it though there's no particular reason to pick it up for this run because like, like I said I'm not really doing a strength run and that's what the whirly gig saw is Yeah, you get the heck out of my face. Eh, fuck it, I'll do it. Mostly so I can get this, uh, lantern lit, so I don't have to go through all that again. And I think there's some chunks and stuff I can grab, so I will do that. Yeah, and I'm gonna need some of those. There's like the least conspicuous guy here. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's a good thing I got that lamp. Knock him down and call beyond. Didn't really do anything. Ah. Hoping I could uh, parry him like that. Oh shit! I kind of wanted to kill him before I dropped down there. That's new. Huh. I, I guess that must be, uh... Hmm. That's like an NPC I've never seen before. Any 
I learn some learn something new every day. Oh, I ran past the uh, the dead slug. And there's the whirly gig saw. Oh, we can uh. Oh, Henriette, climb up this ladder, kid. You're gonna die. Climb the ladder, kid. Make yourself famous. Okay, good. Okay. Might as well get a few more bullets. Yeah, I'll be letting pass you. Now, I don't know if she will, but I will. Oh. Five free vials every single time. Yeah. And I can't summon the guy over there because I'm not um, part of the Confederacy. Part of the, uh, part of the vile bloods. All right, here we go. One of my favorite bosses in the whole game coming up. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say a fucking word to this cutscene. We're taking on Ludwig. He's hard as shit, but he's awesome. And so, oh, yeah, don't, don't get hit. Ah, I fucked that up. Now, just gotta call beyond. That nah, didn't really do nearly as much. Mm. Okay, that's gonna be a run. Oh. Is this a normal jump? <laughs> Just keep hitting. Oh. Oh. Okay. We keep <laughs> we keep moving around, that's weird. And that's gonna be it's like the only way to avoid that attack is just run. Okay. Uh, Henriette is dead, as I figured. Oh, shit. Just uh, heal up. Alright, halfway mark. Here's where things get really cool. A little fan service here.
And here we go. Oh, time to start backing up. That's an AoE. So here we go, this is where Ludwig starts using the Moonlight Sword. Which, if you are familiar with any of From Software's games, then you have definitely seen this at some point. Dating all the way back to their very first game, Kingsfield, in 1994. That just kinda moved a bit. Ugh. I just kind of uh, hang back, let that AOE go through, face through that. And go for that, so go for another one. Yeah. And let's go for Visceral. Grab him right by the dick, right in the dick there, and nail him. Alright, let's just back up. Now we run, so I don't get hit by that big wave of energy. And that'll be alright. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's just... I'll just heal up now. Be really unsafe about it. Alright, we're good now. What are you gonna do? Ah, oh, fuck. And I didn't even... Shit, please don't be dead. Ah, oh, damn it. That would have been sick to do it on the first go round. Oh well. We almost did it, but then I just straight up messed up at the end. <coughs> How long have I been? How long have I been streaming? Okay. Just gotta check my time. I don't want to do that whole. Let's just do it all night and you know bug everybody, and then have to upload like a ridiculously huge file to uh, YouTube later. All right, I'm not gonna do any summoning because yeah, she wasn't much help. Go at 20 bullets. I mean, it's probably not going to work getting a call beyond off, but you know, hey. Alright, so always leads in with that attack. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't want to be behind him because he will kick. And I fucked that up. Hmm, I'm fucking that up too. Let's not, let's not get hit so much. That's fun to think. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, this is a bad run. Ah! Ludwig, please. Ludwig, please. <laughs> Ludwig, why did you become, like, psychic and attack me every time I healed? Alright, let's, uh... 
He's hard. Let's uh, try and be. Uh, let's try and be safer about it. Not just immediately rush in and be fucking stupid. So I'm not even gonna try a call beyond. It's not going to work because there's no way I'm gonna have the the breathing room to use it. that so I will always have five vials before I go into the fight which I do appreciate like they legitimately did not have to do that it's a good place to grind for vials too if you're having problems all right let's uh Oh, out of here. Hold the staff, go up. Ah, that's just a jump. Oh, bad time. that. Oh, balls. That was horrific. That could have been a, a one-shot kill there. And now we could rush in at this point. Alright, that's gonna be a run. Good. Oh, I did hit him on the way down. That's good. Ah. Let's just uh, do that. Oh. Fuck off. Alright, let's, uh... Huh. Okay, let's get a visceral attack before he mutates. Yeah, we already saw the cutscene, who cares? Alright, so... Yeah, uh, I can... I don't know why I wasn't two-handing, but now, hey. Shh. Hmm. Alright. Oh, God. Having a very difficult time here. Getting a little greedy. I'll just uh, do that. Ah. Well, what are you going to go for, huh? Okay. Hit that. And go for a visceral attack. That's an AoE. It's back up. Okay, well, actually, that didn't hurt that bad. But that one will hurt really bad. Shit, I thought he was going for his other AoE. Yeah, Ludwig has two AoE attacks, and that was the... That was the really, really dangerous one. This one where it's just like a regular whatever, and then the one where he will follow up with that. 
that that's a problem. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I could have used that before I got into this fight. Yeah, I could have I could have survived that. The Bloodborne community. Uh, the the Dark Souls of fan communities. Alright, let me just uh keep going. We can do this. We we got this. As Queen Chelsea said, we got this. Some regular jump. That one, he's just backing up. That one, I don't even know. Ah, oh, jeez. And I will take advantage of that. Shit. And after, after that third bite, you can um, dash under and go for an attack. Yeah. Someday I will be able to get the timing right on avoiding those. Yeah, this one I'll just heal. Yeah. It's gonna be a run. Cause that move will fuck you up. Ah, oh, I can't visceral attack because the uh, terrain is all weird. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just avoid that. So, I mean, you can tell Ludwig, he has like a very clear, defined pattern, it's just... If you make even the slightest mistake, though, you are fucked. And, uh... Okay, that's the normal AoE. That one will not mess me up. Ah, oh, damn. I was, didn't think that one would get me, but it got me. I'll just heal real quick. Okay. And I will get some health back. And, okay, that's gonna be the big one. Start running. So I do not get hurt by that. I do not get hit by the Moonlight Sword's beam. What do we got going on here? Yeah, let's uh, not get hit by that. Ooh. Right. I keep hitting them. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, 
look at him there. And, uh, start running. And. <sighs> Got him. Yeah, that was a that is a very very tough boss. I mean, you probably figured as much. Anyway, let me change my clothes here to the choir garb. <coughs> Excuse me. Light that lamp. Tell me, good hunter of the church, have you seen the light? Are my church hunters? The Honorable Spartans. I hoped they would be. Ah, good. That is a relief. To know I did not suffer such denigration for nothing. Thank you kindly. Now I may sleep in peace. Even in this darkest of nights, I see... And there it is. The Holy Moonlight Sword. I'm going to be switching off to that here. As soon as I can level it up. Because that is one of the best, it's like the, probably the second best arcane based weapon in the game. Uh, Alright, let's, let's spend some insight. I want that. So I will replace the Kirk Hammer with the Holy Moonlight Sword. I can uh, change back. I'm gonna switch back over to. Uh, yeah, let's put on uh, Diora's outfit. And let us put on... Take all those off. Holy Blade, we'll take those off too. Because I want Arcane to be as, like, just as high as I can get for the Moonlight Sword. Because it's an Arcane weapon to begin with, but I really want my arcane abilities to go way up. Let's see, no, I do not want that because that will uh, gradually decrease my health. Attack versus B stuff, and I guess I can increase physical damage until, um, until I get something better. Reduces stamina cost. Nah, it's probably not going to be worth it that much. So now... Three eighty eight is the power that I have for the Moonlight Sword. So this is what it looks like normally. Alter it, and it turns into that. Let's see if I can level up a bit. Oh, I could not, actually. I will use... I will use a cold blood. And now do it. 
Up there. Okay, I need another cold blood. Yeah, I want to try and get that up to 400, because that will just do a ton of damage. Oh, and let me knock out a side quest while I am here. So, remember, I sent... I gave um, Alfred the summons to Kanehurst. Well, there's what happens when he goes in. See, I told you Alfred was a jerk. But what's left of the queen still kind of moves. So I'm going to do... So we are going to warp back to where I fought Abratus. Is it here? Or, no, it would be here at the cathedral. The altar of despair. So here is this spider thing. So now... Now we will go back to the queen. Gotta kind of keep going back and forth. And she's back to life. I will offer my five blood dregs. I get I think that's all I get for offering up blood dregs it's not like the covenants in Dark Souls where you get like you know a bunch of stuff anyway so let's go back to the Cathedral Ward see how Alfred is doing Because 
we got. And then after that, we can call this side quest done. And, uh... Yeah, you're still fucking not doing anything. How's it going? So we need to go back to where we first ran into Alfred, which would be over here. And I uh, just ran into the fire like an oaf. Nice. Yeah, that's that's always fun to do. And here he is. He is dead. He's like, ah, oh, I have nothing to live for. Time to kill myself. And he drops the Executioner's Covenant, which I can join. I mean, I'm not going to, but I can. Anyway, that's all I need to do here. Uh, I guess I could try fighting that crow hunter. Uh, that's... It's such a shitty fight, though, and I hate it, but... I don't know. I have a call beyond now. Maybe I can... I can maybe hit him with something. And you, you need to get your ass down to the, o oh, to the, uh, to the sewer. Or, I don't know, the gutter, or whatever that place is. The, uh, the place directly underneath the, the cathedral. Alright, let's go up here. I'm gonna see how my what my arcane does. Yeah, not bad. Run past you, cause there's no point in fighting you. Hi, Eileen. That did something. And... Now I messed up my timing. And I messed up my timing again. I'll do it. Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Thank you for not uh, following up on that. And... yes! I see to stay on him. Ow, oh, shit. That's, that's not how I stay on him. Hmm. Having a hard time here. Oh no! No, don't heal! And don't shoot me either. <sighs> All right. Mm. <sighs> 
I'll just, uh, what? Out of here. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that does nothing for damage. Yeah, I don't really like fighting this guy at all. keep on him because I don't know how many times he can heal if he can do it more than once. I cannot recall. Ah, jeez. Yeah. Quit shooting me, please. Ah. Alright, let's, uh... Not get killed. Ugh. That is like the exact opposite of that. Ah. Right, you need to settle it down. Ugh. That gun does so much damage. Uh, and I'm completely out of vials and bullets and I'm dead. Is this anybody like this guy? Like, I don't even think From Software likes this guy. Alright, well... I'll come back to you later. Let's see, I will do... Let's see, how long have I been streaming? Two and a half hours? I'll do one more area and then call it good for this week. Because we've actually made like quite a bit of progress here. Actually, um... I know what I can do. I'll buy a ton of bullets, stock up on all the ones I lost. Uh Oh, I'll hold on to that. Hold on to that too, I think. Uh, how many of these dungeons do I have open? Can I do an Ooze Chalice? No, I cannot. Ailing Lauren Chalice? No, I cannot. Hinter Tomb Roots? Lower to Marion. I suppose I could try to lower to Marion. That's the Hinter Tomb. That is. Why do I have two Hinter Tombs? I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and do a lower to Marion Chalice Dungeon. Get closer to the bottom of these. Because getting to the East Chalice is like really good for arcane stuff because of all the blood gems that get dropped. But I don't have the materials to actually get in there yet. That's what going here is for. Luckily I uh, made sure to set one up beforehand. 
No bonus areas there. I will turn on the lantern. Alright, well that's an obvious trap. And that's the door out of here. Okay, that's good. I'll know where to go once I find the switch. And nice attempt at an ambush. Alright, so... Anything here? Really? Just the, just the dead end? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is a bad, this is a bad time we're in for. I have to find the bell ringing woman, like, right now. There's no time to fuck around. There. Okay, good. I do not want to get killed by an endlessly spawning group of spiders. Those spiders, they move super quick and they hit pretty hard. And as long as the bell ringing woman is alive, they will spawn infinitely and like immediately after you kill them. What level am I at? 80? Okay. It is a bad idea to even. even try going through a dungeon with all of those on your back. There's a couple more around here. Got rid of them. Also, I, uh... Sure hope uh, nobody watching has arachnophobia, because if you do, that would probably be uh, a bad thing. Let's see. Oh yeah, I was already here. Never mind. I'm just being stupid. And right, that's where they that's where they tricked me. Okay, there's nothing else here. Let's just go to the boss door and get out of here. Uh, who is our first boss? Let's find out. No bonus areas here, so it's very straightforward. Oh, okay. Let me just uh, stay away from any bullets. them. Yeah, these are very easy bosses I've fought several times already, so. I could just spam some tentacles on them. Oops. Like, literally all I have to do is just not get shot. Just 
so yeah there's not really much to say I fought these guys before you've seen me fight them before they don't really get much more difficult than this Might as well just keep hitting them. I just put the gun away. Might as well heal up a bit while I'm here. Alright, next floor. Okay, still no bonus areas, that's fine. Not that... I don't think there's anything... worth getting here anyway. It's not like the root dungeons where... I can get like uh, lost or uncanny weapon types. It's just gonna be, yeah, more of this here. Wait, those aren't like medieval clothes. Those are just like this is like a Sunday outfit. Uh, okay. So I cannot open that door. I just want to make sure everything is cool before I continue on. Alright, this I will switch back over to... Oh, that's right, I forgot I took all the fire off of it. Alright, let's go... Little arcane damage. Little arcane damage. Alright, a lot of little rats down here. Oh, I, I hope no one's afraid of rats either, because uh, there's quite a few of them around here. Yeah, I should switch back to the one-handed so I can do a horizontal sweep. I mean, if they're just gonna come at me one at a time, then forget it. And, yeah. Just, just gonna, gonna kill some rats. It's like the first floor of a uh, wizardry. Talk about talk about other games while I'm here. Wizardry, a game I have not played in like eight years. Let's go back. Climb. Okay, good. I was a little worried there. I was stuck on the geography. Geometry. And I, I know what I said. Listen, you're not my real dad, okay? Alright, what's through here? Low visibility. Okay, ritual of blood. 
Patrol of Blood. That's who mold. Alright, so a lot of a lot of parts for other um for other uh chalice dungeons. Those are dying. Or not dying quick enough. That's okay. I didn't I did not actually miss out on all of those pickups. So I'm gonna do is I'm first I'm gonna open up, see if I got all the chests. I think I did. So here's the thing that you can do if um if you're trying to get there's like little loot monsters and they run away from you. Just reset the game. Gotta wait for the game to reload. <laughs> Cause once you reload the enemies, any enemy you haven't killed will be right back here. Wait, what the? Is that? Okay, where's the other one? I hear it crawling. Oh, shit. Oh well. They only drop uh, gems anyway, not... Uh, not weapon materials. But, you know, it's always something to show off. Yeah, because... I don't, I don't actually know if too many people know about that. Or the fact that Chalice Dungeons are the only area in the game with illusory walls. Oh, that did some damage. So did that. Come on down here. I can't hit you with a visceral if you're on the stairs. It's very really stupid that way. I think I need five to get into the East Chalice. Four I can use to get to what, like the rest of the Tumerians and Jeez, excuse me, buddy. Um, and then like the Lauren Chalices as well. Yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. Who even knows? Not that way. Because these backgrounds, even small areas like this, they do blend together. So 
so it's very confusing. That leads nowhere. I mean, I could just use a hunter mark, wake up at the entrance, and then go through the boss door, but that's kind of... Actually, that's kind of sensible. Let's do it. Hopefully I don't have to, uh... Hopefully I don't have to shoot anything. Oh, okay, bonus area. Alright, let's hit this bonus area, and then we will... Okay... Got a, got a rat stuck on me here. Oh, it's these fuckers. The bone scorpions that explode when you kill them. I mean, they're not that bad, but they're still bad. Here, let's replace. Oh, wait, do I only have one Molotov on hand? I'm hearing something running around. Oh boy. That was a bad idea. Wow, you guys are hitting super hard, and I don't know why. Get all these rats out of here. Yeah, I don't know what's running around up there. But, I mean, you could definitely hear it if you listen closely. I don't think I had the game audio turned down that much. That'll do it. died, but hey, less trouble for me. Stuck in this cage. <laughs> That's like the worst place to fight them. And yay, I'll go for Bratis. Free knockdown. Get him. Let's 
heal at bow. Never mind, too late. Ritual blood four. is in here. Oh. Okay, actually, um, that is kind of useful. So I can make some arcane haze that gets to the last, um, gets one of the last, uh, so I can get to the east chalice is what I'm trying to say, because I need a lot of arcane haze to do that. Here. Oh, Snatchers. Haven't seen any of you in a while. sure that you're dead. Oh, that fridge. Find some more exciting commentary than just saying what's happening on screen. I guess it's just because I don't... I... I... Uh... Sorry, let me not stutter over myself. I don't normally do chalice dungeons during my runs, because I normally pick like a skill or like a skill blood tinge build, so I don't really so I don't really go through any of these. So I did it my first time through just so I can get the uh just to say I 100% of Bloodborne. And even then, I just stopped when I took out uh, Queen Yardum. I didn't even go through and do the other ones. Yeah, okay. That's like the oldest trick in the book at this point. So, yeah. And there's no particular reason to go through any of these if you're doing skill and blood tinge. I mean, there probably is, but nothing noticeable. It's not like Arcane, where there's like a bunch of really good gems you can get for doing it. Because, I mean, you get more than enough blood stuff in the main game. And then it's just like, oh, I've got a Chikage or a Rakuyo. And I'm all set. No. And I missed. Oh my god. I almost ate shit again. Oh, oh thank you. Whoever whoever rated my note. I wonder if I can actually see or yes, I can see that. Nice. I should probably leave more notes, but I always forget to because, like, I know my way through the game. It's like, I'm pretty sure everyone who wants to play Bloodborne has already done so. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's right, I was already down there. Alright, let's get out of here. Now we can actually fight whatever the boss of this area is. I think that's out through there. Who is the boss and how annoying are they going to be? If at all. Oh, okay. Oh, why'd I do that? Well, I guess I can use a... I cannot use a call beyond. Yeah, okay. This is, this is gonna be painful. Undead giants are... They are not easy. Oh yeah, they are really not easy at all. And those chains don't help either. Alright, this could be... This could be problematic. Ugh. Yeah, because you can see I'm not really doing a whole lot of damage here. But he is messing me up. Duh. I might as well just treat that as like an AoE attack. Oh fuck, that was just me that was just me being stupid. I don't even know what I was thinking on that. Uh, and right now I'm really just trying to like bait these attacks. Cause I gotta kinda take it slow here. Ah, Jesus. Jesus cannot help me here. You know what, let's, let's switch over to physical, see if I do more damage that way. Nope. Oh, I actually managed to avoid that. However, I did not avoid that. Wow. Thought he was going for a third one. Come on. I'll bait out an attack so I can hit you. Uh, no, not not like that. <sighs> okay, have like a better pattern. One, that's a big one there. Okay, do one, two. Three, four. Sorry, folks. This is going to be a very, very slow fight here. What? One, one of us is going to die. It's a battle of attrition.
I did some damage. Finally. Ha. Oh. Yeah. That was bad. Okay, hey, that did something. Alright, turn around, turn around, so I can... I don't know what you're doing. I don't like it. Oh, man. Alright, I think maybe what I'll do... ...is I will grab all those blood echoes use a uh, Hunter's Mark so I can wake up, go back to a Hunter's Dream, level up, and... Oh, three hours? Yeah, I think I'll call it good after that. Because, yeah, I don't want to be doing... I don't really want to be doing this all night, and I don't think anyone else wants me to either. Alright, let's just see where the... Um... Thanks. How about you F off? Alright, scroll down. Just grab those and get out of here. Yeah, I will have to. That is that is definitely a comeback later kind of deal. Because a lot of these Chalice Dungeons are basically... Uh, definitely do not come back until you are like... Almost New Game Plus levels of, of buff. Could do that. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll focus on getting my health up to 40. Vitality, whatever. Upgrade my weapons and then buy some. Fortify. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Yet. Yeah, so I can scrap some of these for Arcane Haze. That's not really going to be important for a while. Okay, make additional discoveries, that's to help me find things. You know what, I'm gonna sell out. Do that. Or I'll get more later, but I might as well just stock up on that permanently. But anyway, I think that's a good time as any to say uh, adios. You know, I've been doing this for a while, and we made actually we made some nice amount of progress, so... I'll have to uh, remember that next time. So I will see you all again next Friday for more... Bloodborne. So I will see you then. Good night, everybody.